see very well today. It's also very kind of dark and rainy outside, so I've got my lights on kind of bright. Sorry for the ghosting. Let's see. I think that'll, mostly what I want to make sure you can see okay is what I'm doing here, okay? So, how's your day going? I'm going to get away from that light. I can't get away from the light. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day. I had a busy day, man. While well, trying to get my Airbnb all done. And then, oh my God, I think we finally got that figured out. And then, um, I look very Elvira in this light. Oh, well, I'm just going to have to let that go. Um, so <laughs> my kids have reached the project stage. Hey, Heather. Um, my kids have reached the project stage of quarantine. Okay. So this is a good thing, but it's also just, let me see if I can, let me see if I can explain this to you. Um, remember yesterday when I said I was going to try to not drink quite so much? Listen to my story and then make me a cocktail. So, um, oh my God, he's coming in now. That's okay. I'm going to talk about him anyway. So my daughter, hi honey, my daughter has decided to do a mural in her room and that's going to be some art therapy for her. So we've gotten her some um, uh, black acrylic markers and some paint. Uh, uh, but you guys have to understand, like when Sadie starts a project, she's worse than her mom. There's shit everywhere. There's paint everywhere. But I know that just the act of creating and redoing a room and doing, oh, when I say mural, I mean mural. I mean the whole wall. Um, and I'm just going to let her do it uh, because it's making her happy. Then I've got my son who's decided to become Farmer Dalen. And I go out there today and he goes, it's four o'clock, it's time to dig. I'm like, what? And I go out there and he's just digging a hole. He's digging. He's walking right by me. He's just ignoring me. He's digging a hole. And I was like, what are you going to do, honey? So this kid is online all day, like, playing video games. So I'm so thrilled to see him outside that, oh, you can hear me. Oh, you have your earphones in. Yeah, I'm talking about you, boy. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Get on here and defend yourself. No, come on. So, so. You <laughs> covered <I'm coming> in. <laughs> ah! Wait, no, tell him. Dalen, when I said research what you need to do to grow a garden, what did you do? Started digging. Did you look online about like rows or hoes or how long or tilling or grow seasons or sunlight, anything? Love you. So basically he is just, Chris, he's just digging a hole. And then he says, so I said, well, just do it 10 by 20, I guess. So he is, but he was going 20 feet into the rest of the garden. And I was like, go the other way, go lengthwise so that when we have, when we mow, we can just go right around it instead of, we can't get to the other side. It's like, well, what does that matter? I'm trying to, he goes, he says, what does that matter? I'm trying to feed our family. Because as soon as he loses interest in this whole thing, I'm going to have to go and figure out how to mow on the other side of his garden. And I'm so excited that he's out there. I am. I actually, I truly am. He's out there and it just feels good. He's getting dirty. He's getting muddy. He's, um, he's happy. He's looking forward to it. So I don't know if anything will grow. We'll just see what he's doing. Um, but he's out there digging a hole in the yard and my daughter's painting a mural. So there you go. Um, I tried to order very, let me tell you about ordering on Amazon right now, kiddos. Oh, I'm just checking the, um, is he digging a pool? Yeah, maybe. I'd love it if he would dig a pool. That'd be great. Um, I tried to order on Amazon and I tried to just do one Amazon order and I stressed about it because I, I don't want to be that person that that poor Amazon person's putting this art supply into a box going, this isn't essential. And they're, excuse me, they're like cursing me or something. And, and I was just like, all right, we're just going to put in one order, Sadie. So let's not forget anything. Like, let's get you your marker and we'll get you the refill and we'll get me the resin that I need and, you know, some stuff I need to do these lives with you guys. And I was like, you know, but, but just one order and we'll order it all together. So if it takes a month to get here, that is fine. We're not going to have it come quickly. So it comes in 18 different boxes. I don't know if you guys have ordered from Amazon recently, but we ordered 13 things. 
we're getting 13 deliveries. And by the time I pressed send, there was no going back. Like, I had grouped it all. And then it came back and it said, one order, one order, one order, one order. And I... So anyway, I'm just going to have to let that go. So I don't think we'll be ordering off Amazon again. I just feel bad. I don't want 13 deliveries. I don't want a guy to have to stop by my house 13 times. I don't want 13 packages. I don't want... I don't, I didn't want that, um, but there wasn't any other way around it. And I, I tried to order, order what we needed from our local arts and crafts store and they were out of everything. So I tried, I did, I did. Um, all right, what are we going to do today? I wanted to cut the fabric this morning so that we could start playing around with that today, but, um, Getting the Airbnb ready took too long. So let's go over some of the let's go over some of the things we're gonna play with. We're gonna add, we're just gonna add another layer to this today, but we're gonna we're gonna play. Um, Lady Shallot decor stamps. I have been wanting to have a project to open this baby up for so long, and today is gonna be the day. All right. So we're just gonna keep doing some layering. And here's what I here's my idea for this. We're gonna layer on some of these great big stamps. Not as the flower, but as still part of the background. Doesn't mean we won't use these on the top layer, but if you're thinking about this in Photoshop land or anything, it's still we're still working on background. Still working on background. So I also brought over some stencils for us to play with. Um, some geometrics I thought could kind of be fun. Again, maybe what we'll do is, is kind of use these down here where we know our uh, pot or container might be. All right, so we're going to play with that. Um, I also brought, so here's the thing. I go to my studio like every day to grab more supplies to do the lives here. I mean, if I was a smart girl, I would just go do the lives over there, but I don't want to go over there. Um, cause it hurts my knees. And so, um, I'm trying to get my knees to heal. And so I don't want to be on that cement for very long. And then I have to turn on the heater and then it's, it's loud. And I like doing it here, but I mean, if you guys could see my dining room, it's like, it's insane now. It's just, well, you can see it. I'll, I'll show it to you every day. All right. So now I also got this stencil, which is, um, flowers. And I thought we could kind of play around with that. Kind of masking. All right, so we have that one. Just gonna lay these down on the floor. All right, and then what else did I bring? Oh, hey there, I, Lorraine. I don't know where I'm going with this. Is it ten o'clock at night for you? I don't. I don't know where I'm going. That's the that's the beauty. If I screw it up, you guys get to go. Um, and if I make it good, you guys could go, oh, how'd she do that? Let me rewind. Um, this is, somebody ordered this stencil for me today. Which one? Did, somebody did. It was my last one. Wondrous floral, modern floral. Remember, I cut mine up. I cut mine up. So I have all these florals that I thought we would play with um, as far as also creating texture. And we may end up using these as well in the in, on the final in our final bouquet. Remember what I said? So our bouquet is going to be transfers, stencils. I mean, it's going to be everything. It's going to be all the things. But I have a bunch of these here. What is the me? Do you mean time? Ten p.m. Wait, wait, Janet. What? What is the? What is the me? I don't know. Did you love spell check? All right, so I've got some of these I thought we'd play with. Sadie's supposed to be bringing me back my roller. I may need to remind her of that. I also have, I have some of these that I thought we could use. So, all right. So, I mean, we have a lot to choose from in this piece. We have a lot. And I also have this one transfer left spring meadow from redesign i never used it but i thought this could be fun too let's open it up let's open it up um let's 
Let's take the entire time to open this up. No, I was joking about that. <laughs> ah, find some scissors. There are my scissors. Oh, you ordered the stencil. Oh, you said me. Oh, yes. Uh, that's right, Janet. I put together your order today. You, I sent you a message on what I have and what I didn't have. Oh, I think you just got back to me, too. So let me, I'll go look at that. Find out. I'm in there like, okay, we have a quart of this, but a pint of that. But we don't have a sample. But I have a jar. Like, I'm in there like this mad scientist just trying to make sure I get everyone's order. Um, this is cool. Uh, so these transfers are just black and white. Oh, I definitely see us using these to embellish at the end. Perhaps. Okay, but I think this will come maybe later because I don't know how well we'll paint over them. So let me yell up to my daughter and tell her I need, I need my roller. And I also got us some, I got us some more rollers. I don't use stencil brushes very often. I just had it in my hand. With all the, with all the, oh, Susie Q, there they are. I just, I don't know, all that dabbing, pushing, ah, ah, I don't, I don't do it very often. Let's talk colors today. Sandy Grace! I want to start using some deeper, richer tones. I want to bring in, let me show you what we've got. I want to bring in some black. I want to bring in some deep cherry. I think I'm going to mix this and this together. I want like really deep. And then I've got some purple too. Are there any other colors you guys would like to see represented today? So basically we're just going to keep going with another layer today. Mm. All right, so I'm at least not doing straight alcohol. I found some cherry brandy from our local distiller. Okay, don't judge me. I'm just making drinks out of what I have. And then I mix it with ginger ale to cut it, and it was, it's not good. And I added orange juice. Oh, it's cherry brandy. Yes, yeah, so cherry brandy, OJ, ginger ale, and a splash of bubbly water on top. Yeah. Okay. But it's it's carbonated so I won't like just suck it. Suck it down. But I, I was gonna wait to have my cocktail until after, but then I went out there and saw what my son was doing with my yard. I was like, oh no. Oh no no no. Oh no 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 no. Yeah, it's yummy. It's yummy. All right, so let's mix up some paint for a sec. Let's just see here. I'll, if I have to, I'll leave you and go yell at my daughter. But let's mix up some different colors. And we do have a lot of, we do have a lot of nice texture here. I, I may want to keep adding to that. But ah, let's add, I'm going to add a little bit of um, onyx here. And a little bit of the pink. Let's see what we get there. Are you guys having a good day? All things considered, right? We have to kind of say that with everything we do. All things considered. All things considered. Let's see what happens when we mix this. I can get down here so you guys can do it with me. Oh, yeah. I'm not getting that kind of deep deep purpley color. That's kind of what I wanted to see. I'm liking that. Gin with Mexican lime, elderflower, and frozen blueberries. Rain? You go, girl. Should we add that into like our our ritual, everybody has to like share a recipe, what they're doing. That sounds fun. Um, all right, I like that. I'm, I'm liking that purple. I want to mix it with a little bit more of the pink. And I also have, 
a little bit left of, oh, you know what? What if we added in a little bit of these, um, of Kiss Kiss? too. All right, so I don't know where she is with my roller. Let's go down here and we'll just, we'll kind of paint this on. Uh, we'll kind of paint it on. Hold on, let me yell one more time. running laps around the house. I told her I needed it first. She don't listen. Okay, I'm working all these colors though. So I'm just doing the kissing, I mean the um, kiss kiss and mixing with black. Um, that's something I haven't done before, but I thought that would be kind of fun to try. So let us see. Let's see what happens if we do, if we do this just with like painting it on a little bit and see. Maybe even like drag it. You know where you can see it? Yeah, okay. That's kind of cool. And I'm kind of dipping into each color so that each one is um, highlighted. Just holding it in place. This has a little bit of sticky on it because I just finished doing a piece with it. I have no idea. Let's see how that let's see how that looks. I think it'll be good. It wasn't quite, um, I'll be honest with you, it was tilted. I don't know why it's tilted. But you know what I do if I put a stencil on and it's tilted sometimes? I'll go back over it with it straight or I'll put something else over it so you kind of, you don't even notice. But I like having the geometric pattern in there a little bit. So I'm going to go down here and kind of overlap it a little bit but not where you're supposed to. And I'm gonna make sure it's straight this time. And I'm gonna use the brighter pink and red. Does that make sense? So I'm, try I'm trying to overlap it. I was gonna have my husband come down and read comments today, you guys. I know it's annoying that I'm not right there reading, but he keeps getting called into work stuff. Yeah. See, it kind of it kind of evened it out. Does that make sense? Hello, Lisa. So I'm thinking this is kind of like where our what's that thing called bowl base will be. Hi, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'm actually just using a brush instead. I could still use it though. Thanks, sweetie. So I'm gonna go up the side. Because we said we kind of wanted to, I'm gonna level this up with the, there we go. I'm gonna level that up with the board. And I think we said we were gonna have our boss kind of coming in from that side. 
So I'm going to very specifically put this layer down here so that it only shows up on this side. I think that'll, I think that'll be cool. Or not. Actually, these strokes work well on this, on this, um, stencil because the stencil is so angular. Yeah, doggy. Okay, Lisa, I'm using Kiss Kit. I'm using a Miss Lillian's today because I want to get some richer tones on top of what we did yesterday. So this is Kiss Kiss Onyx and Raspberry Sorbet right now. And I'm just layering on, I'm mixing them I mixed them together in here, but I'm also keeping them a little separate. I want to just kind of fill in right there. I kind of want it to be a little bit more organic. And I'm only doing this area where I feel like our base will be. It will kind of cut away, but then this will be the texture of the base in a way. That makes sense. The flower stencil, okay, these are, oh, I should tell you, these are Royal Design Studio stencils. I don't sell them, but you know what? A lot of companies are now doing affiliate links. So let me see after this, if I can get online and see if I can get an affiliate link for these for you. Hey Sadie, how busy are you? Uh, so what? Like, here's, here's a job, and it's okay if you say no, but I'm having trouble seeing the comments while I'm doing this. Like, is that something like when you see something pop up, even if you're on your headphones, you could just say the comment to me? It won't be for long. What's that? Is it just look at Yeah, you can just sit right there. All right, Sadie's going to help out you guys. Isn't she awesome? She just ran. How many laps did you run around the house? Two miles left. Two miles around the house. My girl is dedicated. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm sorry, Sadie. Next time, don't talk to me on the final lap, please. Don't talk to you on the final lap. Good yeah. to know, because of course I knew it was the final lap. Any lap. <laughs> don't talk to you on any lap. Yeah. Uh, which one was the last one that you read? So I know if there's new ones. Do I sell that stencil? I got, I got the last one. All right, okay. you guys, you guys can can chat away. Sadie's gonna read me your comments and make coughing sounds. And make coughing sounds. <laughs> Snuffles. Wow. Thanks, Sadie. And I'm gonna say the orange juice. All right. Hi. <laughs> this is alcoholic. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sadie, it's five o'clock. Why would you think that it's safe to drink out of anything I have in a glass? Because I served you orange juice and sparkling water earlier today, and it looks the same. Yeah, well, it's not the same now. Right, I took a, a big. Of... I, I took a big gulp before Did you, I noticed. Right after you exercise too. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Thank you for counteracting all the calories I just burned. <laughs> Oh, jeez. All right, I can hear Hi. Say hi to me. Oh. Get out of here. Okay, it's not about me. All right. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, sweetie. All right, so I feel like I feel like that is really cool for there. Let's take the other one. Now that Sadie brought me my roller. Heather says snagged. Huh? Heather says snagged. <laughs> All right. Um, God, I got nowhere to put stuff. Oh, okay, so what I want to do is 
go up here and start putting some more texture on that. Uh, what color, what color, what color? Lorraine says it's always 5 p.m. somewhere. <laughs> Damn straight, girl. What color? So this is going to be negative space. Should we try the purple? The purple purple? I think we should do the purple purple. Purple purple. Because this will this will start to be the background of some of our flowers. I am actually going to use some of my leftover Dixie Bell. Um, I feel so conflicted about Dixie Bell. Because I mean their paint was good. I actually prefer Miss Lillian's, but um, the one thing that I still, I will be honest with you, that I still prefer from Dixie Belle, I'm just putting this on the plate and kind of smoothing it around, um, is um, their uh, slick stick. Man, that stuff was awesome. But you know, I try not to, I try not to, you know, make a big deal out of leaving them because I don't want to burn a bridge or anything in case I do decide I want to carry them again. But you know, sometimes even keeping my mouth shut, people just share with me their, their stories. Lorraine says purple or bright yellow. Oh yeah, I'm digging that. All right, so I'm gonna do kind of a low nap in here. Yeah, we'll do the purple. And I'm just rolling that right onto my plate here. I don't want it super heavy. I mean, that might be not heavy enough. Sometimes I'll put it right on my brush. Um, but people just share that, you know, just as retailers, they just didn't get treated very well. So I just try to be really careful about who I represent these days. And, um, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna, oh, I need to climb up on a chair. All right. Here comes the acrobatic portion. I just used a slick stick before I painted my fridge freezer. Paint stuff like a dream. Yeah, the slick stick is amazing. Um, so Miss Lillian's has something called Swamp Mud, and it is really, really good. If you are just wanting to put a base layer on something, it's like it's an awesome primer. But I got to say, if your thing is super shiny, like laminate shiny, slick stick, man. It's still, you know, I'm not going to lead you guys astray just because it's not what I carry. I'm going to tilt up. I'm not going to let you down. I'm not just going to sell you what I, what I use. I mean, sell you what I sell. Because sometimes even I go and place an order for other products. You got to do what you got to do. But I did make sure I didn't order off of Amazon for that. I, I found a retailer in my area and I ordered from her so that I could still represent, uh, still help, help a sister out. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Let's do that and let's just see what happens here. So I'm not gonna go super heavy. Remember, this is reverse. So actually, if we were just going to do flowers without doing mixed media, this stencil is a perfect way to go because it basically is doing that. It's masking. So let's just see what happens if we kind of go over there. Janet loves your stencil. Yeah, these are great. I actually got these, you guys. Um, because I was um, doing a big mural with it. I'm going to peek here because I can already tell that I'm going to like the purple, but I'm not going to like it straight up one color. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take my other colors here. I know you can't see this there. And I just put them on my brush because I could just tell that the purple was going to be too strident against everything else. Uh, Lauren says, we can only get Dixie Belle and Fusion here, but Fusion is on short supply. What do you mean you can only get it here? What does that mean, I'll only get it? Oh, are you in Canada? Oh, no, she's, in, she's down under. Oh, she can't get the other stuff there. Got it. Uh, in the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really cool, actually. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have a retailer near me. Question. Did Dixie Bell start selling on Amazon? Um, retailers are allowed to sell on Amazon and they are allowed to discount. And so, and I'm getting Dixie Bell and Prima mixed up a little bit because I, both of them I had an issue with. Prima was discounting all of their items on Amazon, which made it hard for us as retailers. Dixie Bell, now I'm blanking. I don't want to say the wrong thing. But you can, yeah, you can get it off of Amazon and Etsy, but there's not a level playing field. Like, there, there wasn't the same kind of rules that Debbie has as far as everybody has to charge shipping and everybody has to charge the same price. So things were always a little bit, a little bit different. But that, that isn't why I left Dixie Bell. But it is hard when, when companies get big. Ooh. Lorraine's loving that purple, and she's never seen Dixie Belle on Amazon UK. Okay. And Janet says that screws over the retailers. Yeah, sometimes, I mean, how are we to know who we're going to be when we get rich and famous or bigger or bigger company? I mean, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You got to make your money. You got to make your margins. It's better, you know, you got to stay open. Um, Janet says that looks awesome. So I don't, I don't begrudge that. I just know that they're just, it's really, you know what it is, you guys? And before I, I had this business, I worked with another company in marketing. And we worked a lot on defining your value proposition, okay? So your, your VP. It's, it's what you have that you offer that makes you unique. That First of all, let me just tell you, it solves a problem. Uh-oh, I got to forget your value proposition is something that you do that solves the problem. It's how you uniquely solve the problem. And it's how you do it better than anybody else. Where's that other cord? And how you solve the problem better than anybody else can. So that's your, that's who you are and what you do. I'm so sorry, Darda. Okay. It's who you are and what you do. And part of that is your core value. And if profitability is your number one core value, and let's say, you know, you just have to decide what, what order of operation for you. And some people, you know, some people are like profit first, some people are people first, some people are retailers first, some people are customers first. Like there's going to be some people that value the customer more than the retailer. Um, and so, so that, that's it, you guys. I mean, it's, it's, it's just different core values. Um, I didn't get, I didn't get screwed over or anything. I just saw that there was a different core value there based on decisions that they were making. And, uh, you know, they might change over time. So that's why I don't want to burn bridges. Uh, Melissa loves this stencil. Heather, um, says that's a great look. And Lorraine says, I'd rather support the girls who are retailers and this is their living. Yeah. Yeah. Debbie, Debbie's always, really made it clear that she is retailer driven, Debbie Design Diary. And I can tell from working with um, Marilyn right now at um, Miss Lillian's that she is very, she's also very, you know, and that's, that's their model. You know, they're not selling directly. I mean, they are selling to the public themselves, but that, their model is really more about them having their retailers sell on their behalf, you know, not competing with their actual retailers. So anyway, that's enough about that. But when they do get big, I hope that they're available to all you guys. All right, so I'm going to take this brush, go right in here, and just kind of brush this on and see what's happening. Can you guys see close enough? If, if, if not, I can move the camera closer. It will be at an angle. But can you guys see what I'm doing well enough? Just want to get some other colors in there. 
Yeah, I like that kind of pop of that. Yeah, I said that good. Cool. So this will all be kind of texture for our flowers as they whoop, slow down. You okay? Yeah, baby. Thank you. My knee is acting up pretty bad. Mine are purple. They've still got some purple here. I'm just kind of gonna. I'm just gonna go in around the edges a little bit in some places, just because I can. Susie says hello. Hi, Susie. All right. So, what other textures? Oh, let's put on some of those uh, flowers. Let's just, let's just put that on and see what happens. Uh, my mural is not really a theme, but it's going to be kind of older type of things with like crazy dots and patterns and just mixing textures as much as I can using only black. The only upside of being in isolation is that the money I normally spend on fueling my car is being spent on paint as I'm working from home. Lauren. <laughs> I know, I was looking. I was actually surprised that my my bank account is, does not look as terrible as I thought it would. And I was like, oh my goodness. You know why? Because, well, because I'm not going to Lowe's every day. Getting. Kristen loves what you're doing. All right, so I'm just using the, I'm using the stencil here to try to create some more texture. And I'm kind of using it in the same way to, to kind of test the scope of our flowers. Krista loves those colors. Yeah, I'm really big in these colors. So, like, let's say we decide, all right, so this one, Remember, this is from Modern Flora. I have, no, I don't have any left. Uh, I got the last one, but I, I can get more. Uh, but I don't have any left. So let's imagine that right here is where we have our, why can't I remember the word vase? Jesus. Um, and let's pretend that we're gonna do this flower kind of coming out of the vase like that. That's what I wanted to see. So I do feel like I need a color that's got a little bit more of a pop. So I'm gonna I'm gonna marry my color. I'm gonna use a little liquid sunshine. Um, where am I gonna put this? Patricia loves the idea, and Lorraine says it looks like birds in a sun great sunset. Ooh, yeah. Um, Never this is what happens. I've run out of plates. I'm just gonna put this right here on this piece of plastic. <laughs> That was just the paint. Okay. Right, I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid sunshine on my brush. And then I'm gonna come over here and kind of dab these flowers on. It's kind of like, if we like the way it looks, we can always use it in the final. If we don't like the way it looks, it's just, again, part of the texture machine, okay? And I'm, I'm, I'm just, brushing really light and there's wet paint underneath it that I'm mixing into and I don't care that's fine Susan says you may have to ship this to me after all <laughs> Susie bought that one uh, um, that you had, that, remember when I did that one by the fire that night oh yeah, yeah. and Sadie got to see me because I had just finished it and Susie was like I'll take it and I was so excited. That was so sweet. Now this thing is gonna be crazy. All right, so I'm just, I'm just holding it down. Now, if I was trying to be really careful about this, I would maybe, um, you know, put the glue on the backside, spray the glue. 
Now these stencils are really thick. And the other thing I could have done is, but I, I thought about it, but I decided not to because I just didn't, I don't want this thing to be so messy. I don't want it to be messy. I want it, want it to flow. But we could use um, uh, medium. These stencils are designed for you to take a texture medium and then it would have been raised up. So it's just something to think about. If we decide that it can handle it, we can do that. All right. This is like drying as I'm doing it, which is fine. I'm adding, I'm actually almost adding a second coat as I do it. And I don't care, you know, it's a little bit messy. It's going outside the lines a little bit. Oh, Mom, did you hear school's about till May 16th now? What's that? Did you hear school's about till May 16th now? Honey, you're not going back to school this year. Bet says, hi, so I am late. <laughs> I love that you guys. Betty, <laughs> Betty, you grabbed me after <laughs> You're not late. It's so sweet. Like, I'm late. Um... I started without you. No. Um, I gotta, I'm gonna flip this around so you guys can see, because I really feel like you gotta, you need a little closer, not view of my nostril, hold on. Oh jeez, oh god, okay. Okay, so that was the yellow we just put on. Betty, you're fine. Here's what we've done, here's the recap. We, we've taken the layers from yesterday and we're just going kind of deeper tones on top and just building up and building up and building up. And we used a stencil over here just on this side, just because we're gonna cut out our vase shape here. Remember that we're kind of cutting cutting things out? I mean, and we might, we might not. I mean, we may just love it and then decide not to do negative space. I reserve the right to change my mind at any given second. But I we mixed up Black Onyx, some Amethyst, and uh, Kiss Kiss Raspberry Sorbet to kind of get these really beautiful colors here. So that is the Onyx and the Kiss, uh, Kiss Kiss and Raspberry Sorbet. I'm using up my Dixie Belle Amethyst, but I also have my Wild Violet, which is very, very, very close to the Amethyst colors, slightly lighter. And now we're just kind of adding in some more textures with different kinds of paint. That's it. Um, Autumn asks, if you were to use spray glue, how would you clean the stencil after you use it? Oh, I don't clean off the spray glue. I just let it dry. Uh, Betty says, you know I'll watch the replay to catch up. <laughs> you will. Huh? Lorraine loves it. Uh, Christian, Kristen says this is amazing colors and all. Betty love it, especially that pop of gold. And Betty yeah. says it's a nice mash of colors. It, 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 I'm loving that pop of gold too. So I'm wondering. Here's what. Here's where my brain is going. Uh, I am sitting in a chair and relaying comments. That's the extent. <laughs> right. Let's have a drink for a second. And That's a, a devil drink. It's not a devil drink. It's a devil drink. Oh. It snuck up on me. Um, do you guys like my smoky eye? So, while we're up there and you're seeing my eye, so I don't have a pencil sharpener for my, um... I, I sort of stole that. You have it? I lost it. Please find it because I don't have any eyeliner. So I used dark brown eyeshadow and that's why I look like I've been punched in the eye. Sadie, do you have it? I lost it. I have three eyeliners, and I didn't have any that I could use, so that's just eyeshadow. Because I was feeling like I was looking tired. Now I just look like... Let's not talk about it. Okay. Uh, Kristen says, what about a tiny pop of dark turquoise? And Susie says, I painted an old child's chair, Rocky and Cherry, yesterday in Amethyst. Ooh, that's cool. <gasps> I like Amethyst. Dark turquoise. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. How about Ocean Depths? It's fine. We love you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't I dying for like dying my hair? So, colors like that? I'm excited. Let's try it. Let's try it. 
even if it's just in one little area, I think it'll be cool. I'm going to put it on my plate with the purple. Here's what I think we should do with it. I think we should roll it on as a texture. Turquoise or teal always works. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, you don't have a pencil sharpener in your class class? No. I don't either, actually. I use I use I use knives. Kristen says, ooh, yes. Okay. What why, why didn't you sharpen it with, with a uh, why didn't you sharpen it with a knife? That's what I do with my colored pencils. I couldn't I tried to do it with a knife and I cut off half of it and then I couldn't I couldn't get it to work. I have a backup color sharpener, but I don't know if it works for I'm gonna take the turquoise and I'm gonna go right on here. And here's why I was hesitating before. I love this gold. I love it so much that I feel like that may be how we end up at the top, but I don't feel like we have enough texture to be at our final layer yet. That's where I'm, that's, that was where my brain was going. Like we're getting to what I think is the good stuff before we're ready. Yeah, he really likes it. It looks like a little like a vintage folding screen. I can see that. You guys see here, I'm going to go up to this top corner. I'm going to bring a little bit of that down. Yep. Of the gold too for the final step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking the gold needs to be the final. And that's why I think we need to stop with the gold. Does that make sense? All right, I'm gonna keep adding this on. I'm just kind of rolling over what we have. Why is Blue hiding from you, Dad? Because she needs her ear cleaned. <laughs> I need slightly lighter. Hold on. All right. We're going to mix a little bit of this with Snowflake. Do you see where Snowflake went? Snowflake! Where are you? Where are we about to? Oh my goodness, I forgot something. I know what we need. I know what we need, people. Maybe some of the new shipped wax shipwrecked wax. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, we need metallics. That's what we need. We need some metallics. But first I want to lighten up a little bit of that blue. I like it. But I feel like I want it to be a little lighter, ever so slightly. Let's see here. That's still very purple. Hold on. Your bangs look good in metallics work for me. <laughs> By Susie and Betty. <laughs> Janet says, now there you go. Metallic heart. I think I need, I think I need another, I need a, I need another uh, plate. I'm just going to use one from dinner. It'll be fine. I'm not getting a pure blue. I've mixed my brushes too much. They're all great colors, but that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. A little bit brighter. Let's try that. Just a, just a smidge. Not, not crazy. Still love the board of flowers you have over there on the side. Wait, which side? 
for the side of the flowers? Well, it's all flowers. I'm guessing the heavy flowers that are on the side that you sure I don't up. mess it up. Right, I'm going to go back over this a little with the slightly lighter. I know Susie, even if she's a little bit of a pain. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, Ma. Okay. All right, what do you guys think there? See the blue? It might be a little hard for you to see. I mean, it's not like over the top crazy. But it's given us a little, a little something different to look at there. And it might be cool if that kind of stays in and then we end up having a little bit on the side here. How I have not just totally pulled this over, I don't know. All right, it's definitely busier up here. I'm gonna bring down a little bit along the side. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So I would say with these, what starts to happen is you want to have kind of the background Kristen says it's just enough. Betty says subtle is good. It blends nicely and Melissa likes it. So right here, let me move around this so I can show you the methodology that I go for when I'm doing these. Okay, so right here We've got it really, 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 really busy. Okay, and then here, down here, we've got it's we've got a layer that's thicker. So I like to go like really busy behind and then get thicker and thicker and thicker as I go. That's why I kind of want to wait on the flower because we want the flower to pop out from the background. And whether or not we use the negative space or not, like this may all be covered with black or it may not. We may decide that this is our negative space, like all this design back here. And I think we won't know until we just kind of keep going. So I designed this as this all being the backdrop, but I'm kind of really, I'm kind of really liking, I'm just liking it. I don't know that I want to cover it all up. I'm curious to know kind of how you guys feel about that. Like I still feel like even if we don't draw a shape that is a vase, it says vase, just because it's a different, it's a different kind of pattern. And then if we start going and we mush this all a little bit more, when we do our bright yellow flowers and our um, stencils and maybe all of our um, fabric flowers, they'll really pop out. Betty says the layers work like that. Say that again? Betty says the layers work like that. Yeah, yeah. So I think, um, that was that little pop of blue there. So I feel like we kind of need to let this dry, kind of sit with it a little bit. How do you guys feel about me putting a little bit of the blue in, in this area here? It's speaking to me. A little bit. Are they down with it? Um, this honestly makes me feel happy and excited. I absolutely love this. This is from Kristen, and Betty says the lighter blue pops nicely. It does, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit of the blue over here on our vase if they're down with that. Maybe even like, it's almost like it would be like a highlight to it. Like, I'm just, let me just try. Just like this a tiny bit. That was too tiny. You can't even see it.
the lighter blue could be the boss. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. Well, I was thinking like it can actually be <coughs> like once we get to the final stage, we can use the white as highlight. And we can we can start doing highlights and low lights. So if we you know what I mean? So we can kind of maybe draw with a piece of chalk where we need it to <coughs> in order to take the shape. That is a straight mind. So yeah, down. even in abstract form, like I can already see like down here, it's a little bit lighter. We can kind of start, like I would make that a little bit lighter and a little bit darker and I don't know. I kind of like that it's, it can say the vase and then the flowers without it being even in the, in that shape. I think we can just kind of have it kind of fade out. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Right. Um, and I don't always like it through every stage, kids. I got to tell you, you guys are great because I often will not like all the stages. I will get kind of discouraged. Let's put some more leaves in there. Oh, let's do that. Let's let's roll on some leaves. What time is it, Sadie girl? Um, five fifty-nine. Oh. Can y'all tell when I get really excited about a project? I mean, you can. I know you can. But it's also, I go way over time, and I use every single color. Okay. I have an idea. It might be too literal. Tell me what you think. One second. <coughs> Uh, Lisa says white highlights equal yes, and Betty says abstract but not extreme. But not what? Extreme. I don't know. I was thinking about this green, but I, I, I'm I've kind of already talked to myself out of it. But what about a really yellowy green? What about a really like so it'll be a background for our yellow, for these. That's what I'm thinking. I know. Let's do our metallic red in the leaves. But when we go back and we do the leaves, I'm thinking like our flowers are going to be very yellowy and bright, and then and we'll also have kind of leaf patterns. But I'm going to put a little bit of metallic red on my roller and kind of put that over, and then I'm going to call it a day. What's for dinner tonight, Say Say? Chicken Caesar. Very cool. We're getting low on chocolate in the house, guys. No, we're dum, not. Dum, dum, dum. It's not going to be pretty. I'm just going to paint this on because I've run out of surfaces. I can't see that. Maybe green and yellow on the roller for leaves and limey green. Yeah. I'm thinking like like chartreuse -y, but but just on the top layer. I don't Lorraine says I don't think it needs to be just leave uh just leaves on the darker purple shade. Like I'm gonna do a little bit of these leaves here in the metallic red. Put old Y seven on it. Old fifty seven. Oh, oh, you guys, that's cool. It's, um, it's a little bit translucent, so it's not competing too much. You're still using fabric and paper from the wallpaper book? Yeah. Well, I, I, you know what, you guys, I'll cut it. Sometimes you got to be willing to say, yeah, it didn't need that. You know, I'm okay with that if we don't use it. Um, 
use all the colors in the crayon box. <laughs> this looks really pretty on there. It's very, very subtle. Not a lot of it. But I think that's all we kind of need. We don't need to go all over. Betty says I'm liking it like this. Yeah, me too. Yeah, we've definitely got enough now. Like, remember where we started? I was like, ah, it's not busy enough. But now we're getting there. Melissa says, I can't see that red. And Lauren says, I don't think it needs any fabric. Yeah, it may not. May not. So I think the next thing, though, we didn't even use our stamps. <laughs> so I think... Will it let me? No, I'm sideways. Okay. All right. Okay. I love the way the turquoise actually looks very purple here. Um, and we've got these flowers. We've got this face. And look at, um, oh wait, you see the metallic. Uh, Betty smidge. says you can always do ooh, another and one in fabric, and Lisa says I was decided to do that fabric. I hope you still do it. Hey kids, I think we're gonna have plenty of time to do a lot of different projects, so we don't have to blow it all on one. I think you're right that you know sometimes it's working out the way it works out. So what do you guys say we meet back here tomorrow and put bunches of the yellow flowers on? as the top and just have them kind of coming out and out a little bit more so that it, it, it has some definition. Just a few. Y'all down with that? And here's another trick. Betty, Betty says it's beautiful. Oh, Betty, you're so much fun. If we really love this, all right, here's my trick. If we're super happy with this, which I think that we are, but we want to keep going because that's who we are and we're creatives and that light is really bright in my eye. Okay. I would say I will seal this in the morning for my morning live with a flat out flat. <clears throat> that will give us a barrier layer. So then, it's a little bit of a cheat, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. But that way, if we love this, we can keep adding, but if we don't like what we add, or we don't like where the flower was, or we can, yeah, we, like right now, there's no going back. Everything I put on here, you can't undo. What do you guys think about that? Uh, Betty says, yes, but that's from earlier. Kristen says, thank you, Sue. This makes my heart happy. I needed this. Lauren says, sounds cool. We've just been told we have another three weeks of isolation. So happy to have you to keep me company. Oh, I'm here. Look at this. Look at this. I hired an assistant. She still works for me like one day a week over the store. Um, she's from the Dominican Republic. And, um, I only say that because the way she yells at me is so adorable. Susan! I can't do her accent. I, I don't, I don't want to do it badly. But just imagine a Dominican accent yelling at me every day that we work together for, like, the way I work. She's like, oh, my God! Oh, my God! Every day. Oh, my God! Like, I know that's why I need help. She's like, I have to keep coming behind you so you don't ruin all your paint. It's like, I know. Sadie, you can help me put all this paint away. No. Betty says, not 
No, I just said another one. You've got plenty of time. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, Sadie and I have to take a walk and find some more. Do you remember where we got this, Sadie? The wood? Uh, yeah, I think so. We were taking our walk, and she was like, Mom, are you taking that? I was like, yeah, this is going to be great. This is going to be art. She was like, we're going to walk home with it? I'm like, have you met me? <laughs> we have lots of scrap wood. They might be different sizes. Like I have, I found a bunch of boards. I think we should do some planks and boards. We'll do it. All right, you guys, have a fabulous night. I'll be drinking and cleaning for the next couple of hours. Betty and says find more wood. Find more wood. All right. I'm on it, girl. Um, keep a lookout. Definitely go watch the video of me and my niece. Don't show me cat memes right now. I'll get to it in a second. Um, I also have an idea for, we're going to uh, paint my bathroom floor together. I haven't told my family yet. Betty says, absolutely. Okay. Bye, guys. The cat memes in a second. No, read it. It's important. Day 60-something of lockdown, and I think my cat's had enough of my shit. What is the cat doing? Look at the cat's face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bye, guys.